How's it going guys? D-Man from Unreal Living. Topic for today's video, how to start a YouTube channel. So one of the first things that you want to do is you want to start with why. Why does this channel, why is this YouTube channel, why is it going to exist in the first place? And why are people going to watch? So for example, my channel, Unreal Living, it exists to challenge conventional ways of living and empowering others to do the same. How do I do that? I do that by cycling everywhere and living minimally and eating a high carb vegan diet. That's how I fulfill the purpose of the channel. So you want to think about why does this channel even exist in the first place? I'd recommend picking up a book, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. So once you've kind of figured out the purpose of your channel, why does it exist, you want to think of a simple, memorable name. Something that is simple and easy to remember so that people can tell other people about your channel. Oh yeah, I know about this Unreal Living guy. He's doing all this crazy shit on his bike. You want to think of something that's memorable. Something that follows kind of along in the niche that you're doing as well. So there's great channel names like 40 Below Fruity, Twin Muscle Workout, we can easily associate with those and we can get an idea automatically what those channels are all about. When you're recording video, you wanna focus on audio quality first and foremost over video quality. If people can't hear you, they're not gonna watch you. If people can see you very clearly, but if they can't hear you, they're just gonna click off and they're gonna watch another video. So even if the video quality is a little grainy, that's all right, you wanna focus on getting really, really good quality audio for your videos. Next thing that you want to do is that you want to focus on video lighting. So you want to make sure that your your face is lit up, that people can see you while they're watching you. So you want to focus on good quality natural light. If you don't have a professional setup, obviously, just good quality natural light will do the trick. You want to learn your editing software inside and out. Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, they're kind of shit programs to be honest. I really love ScreenFlow for the Mac. It's really easy, drag and drop program. Something that would be similar for the PC would be Camtasia. These are great programs, invest in them, and they will revolutionize how you edit videos. Just makes it so much easier. After you've filmed your video, what you wanna do is that you wanna make sure that you edit out any long awkward ums or ahs or any really long pauses that don't really make sense in the video. Say you're thinking about the next thing to say and you just have a long awkward pause. You wanna edit that out. Those awkward pauses, those ums, those ahs, the and so's, those break rapport with the viewers and you wanna be building rapport. So try to edit those out in a way that makes sense. Next thing that you wanna do while you're recording is that you wanna focus on looking at the camera lens. You don't wanna be recording and looking over here or looking right there. You wanna be looking at the camera lens because it builds rapport with the viewer who is watching you on YouTube. You wanna focus on consistently putting up one video per week. You wanna keep your subscribers engaged. So ideally, if you could post two to five videos per week, that would be much more ideal just to keep your name out there, just to keep the videos out there so people are continually watching you. But if you, could, if you don't have the time to do it, start with doing one video per week. There's lots of successful YouTube channels with only one video per week, but I'd recommend doing two to five videos per week, even one per day, if you can actually do it. So you've got the purpose for your channel. You've got the, the reason why you're doing it. Now, when you're thinking of videos ideas, most people are coming to YouTube to have a solution to their problems. They're either coming to YouTube to be distracted through comedy or whatever, or they're coming to YouTube to have a solution to their problems. So think about that from the other person's standpoint. Think about what's in it for them. What are they gonna get from this video? What are they gonna learn from it? So when you're creating your videos, keep them on topic and think about the viewer. Think about how you're going to provide a solution to their problems. Once you've researched a video and you've got good quality content, you want to research the titles and thumbnails. So what you wanna do is you wanna use, just basically, you wanna search for other videos that are on the same topic as you. And you wanna see what titles that they're using. Using really, really good, strong titles is what is gonna get people to click on your videos, and that's obviously what you want. Also, take a look at their thumbnails. Usually when you start a YouTube channel, you don't get custom thumbnails right away, but you do get them in time. See what thumbnails that they're using, and see what titles that they're using to get lots of hits on their videos. That is such a big, big part of getting people to click on your videos is obviously to have a good title and to have a good thumbnail. So research around YouTube, see what other people are doing and just kind of mesh that into your own style. You wanna to start to research keywords 
that people are searching for and that you want to target. So if you want to do videos on weight loss, you want to get all the different types of keywords like weight loss before and after, raw food weight loss, easy weight loss, whatever it is, whatever the keywords are, you want to research those and you want to know what they are so that you can target those keywords in your title, in your description, in your tag section. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description box below to the YouTube keyword uh, search tool as well as the Google AdWords keyword planner. Those will help you get an idea of what people are searching for on the web because if you know what people are searching for on the web, if you can target those keywords in your title and your description and in your tags, then your videos are gonna rank higher and people are gonna click on those and they're gonna watch them. So after you have a great title, you wanna make sure that you write a description for the video that is also keyword heavy. So you wanna almost write a story about what you're talking about. You wanna provide links in, this, in, the, uh, in the description box. You also want to provide links to your social media or whatever but you wanna focus on getting lots of good, solid keywords in that description box, it helps your video rank up higher in the search engines. Also, you gotta use the tag section as well. So you wanna tag your video with what people are searching for. So there's the YouTube suggestion box. So if you type in a, a part of your keyword, you'll see what people are searching for and then you'll also see like kind of um, different variations of what pe people are searching for. Put those in the tag section. That'll definitely help your videos rank a lot higher. Make sure you also tag your, your channel name as well as your real name in your videos as well. You wanna keep your videos as short as possible. Three to five minutes seems to be the, uh, seems to be the best length. You have enough time to get, your, to get your point across and it also is short enough that people are going to just click on your video a lot more automatically than they would click on a 10 to 20 minute uh, video. A lot of people just don't have the time to watch that long of a video. On top of that, a shorter video will tend to increase your retention rate. So the retention rate in your videos is how long people are actually watching your video. So you can check that out in the analytics section. You wanna aim, have a goal for getting a retention rate on your videos over 50%. So those are my tips on how to start a YouTube channel. Remember, YouTube is a lot of fun. Don't take the comments personally. There's a lot of weird people out there, so you're gonna get a lot of weird comments. Have fun with it. It's a great experience provide lots of value to others, solve other people's problems, and it's just a great community. I love YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.